So, Sir Tim, thank you for joining us. Um, what role can IATA play uh, and its members in helping to fight wildlife trafficking? Well, IATA, um, as, the, as the core of the international airline community, um, has the ability to reach just about every uh, chief executive, every board, every major player in the airlines today. And if we can use IATA to impart the message to a number of airlines, not all of whom are on message at the moment, uh, we did try at the IATA AGM last year as the, as the first step, and since then IATA has become particularly active in all of this. Uh, where IATA can really act as this sort of conduit of messaging, because no, no other entity can actually do it to the extent that IATA could, um, that's where they will be really helpful. And, and uh, at the sooner they get on with that um, and accelerate the, the, the messaging that's coming out of multiple uh, groups like the United for Wildlife uh, side of things, the better. And um, what has Emirates done specifically to raise awareness of this issue? Well, uh, you know, we, we got involved in this a couple of years ago, over two years ago now, and uh, I was invited to sit on the task force um, uh, uh, with a degree of ignorance, I have to say. And I realised at the end of the first meeting that, one, we had a major problem, two, that the airline community in something like Emirates, which has a global brand, it is a pretty powerful one, could leverage that brand to get the message that the United for Wildlife people want to get across quickly, and globally, and so what we did was we 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 set out uh, using a number of means um, to to do that. One of which was, of course, painting the airplanes with these huge decals. Uh, we did that in within about a month of the decision being taken. We then entered into the social networks. We did a number of things uh, and sustained that message. It wasn't a flash in the pan. We've been at it for two years, and we will continue to do that. So airlines that feel that they can do that kind of thing and that they have buy-in from the management and the boards uh, to get engaged in something like this, uh, th that's the way to go. This is what we did. My uh, shareholder, we only have one, um, was quite keen on the idea and uh, it, 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 you know, in a slightly self-serving manner, it added value to what the core brand values are. Uh, it's a caring airline, not just about people, but the environment and the world, so we're heavily into supporting environmental aspects of what we do, and this was just another facet of that. So it's a good thing. Um, there are many other similar issues in the world today, other than wildlife, where I believe the airline community could work together to do better things. So this is just one of them, and that's what Emirates has done. Leadership is obviously very key to this and it's something that you're very personally committed to. What does this mean to you personally and how important is leadership from the top for this kind of work? Well, to answer the, the second question first, uh, it can only work from the top. Um, I find that in many, many things, unless the, uh, where there's, there is a, 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 an understanding that uh, support is needed or there is a feeling that things should be done, it can't work from the bottom upwards, unfortunately. Uh, the sooner you get the buy-in from the top, the quicker it'll work and the quicker you can get action, uh, speed to market if you like. Um, so it's very important that the airline community in this case take the lead from the top, the boards or the CEOs, and they direct how that is going to happen, otherwise it won't. Because it, it departs from their normal, normal modus operandi of running businesses, marketing, sales, cabin crew, whatever it may be. You step outside that and you've got to spend a little more time, possibly money, and try to do that. Um, so it's, it's, uh, it's something that has to happen from the top. Personally, um, as I said, I went into that first meeting slightly ignorant about what was going on, didn't realise the metrics, you know, African elephant disappearing, rhinos going on in such a place we would have none. Listening to His Royal Highness uh, Prince William, Duke of Cambridge, um, very eloquently setting out the, the landscape of the diminishing group, uh, group of wildlife that uh, was so important to us as children, as and have been for thousands of years, suddenly in my lifetime it looked as though we wouldn't have anybody, anything left. So we have a moral obligation. I considered myself in a position where I could activate the brand. I couldn't have done it if, if I was lower down the company, I suppose. So I'm afraid I kind of used the brand to further that, but I knew it to be a good thing. I knew everybody within my shareholder group and the management that worked with me would be supportive of it, so it was no big deal. Easy to do. So Tim, thank you very much for your time. Pleasure.